brace ourselves after this. Don't hold that, just hold the pillow. Just hold the pillow. Let's all take a moment to breathe in, Bob. I feel him here in the trees. I feel like I can smell him here. Maybe it's just that hippie smell that we all have. <laughs> Bob is here with us and always will be in our hearts. Katie Ramsey May, and this is my dad. Hi. I just want to tell you your uh, name. My name. Yeah. <laughs> it's Ramsey. Yeah, I moved to Lake Tahoe in 1973, and uh, uh, at the time I had no sense of what good food, organic food, natural foods were. I was eating junk food, and I happened to stop into this bakery that I went into occasionally, and I met Amigo, and he had a a buying club for buying and organic foods and we became friends and I, he started teaching me about eating healthily uh, so and we became friends and then uh, one point he came over to my house and he had this twinkle in his eye and he said I met somebody and that person was Kalita and he said that she was going to marry somebody else <laughs> but with his characteristic passion and his uh, his way of, of just <laughs> making himself known, uh, he convinced her to be with him. And uh, and then he decided, he said, we have to start a food co-op. We have to open a store. So he looked around and he found this empty store in North Lake Tahoe. And so Migo and I and a few other people, Mark, uh, started this food co-op up there. And that was just, you know, it was a wonderful thing, but we couldn't really get a whole lot of food. We didn't know where to go. We didn't know how to get it. So we would take my truck and we'd drive down to Sacramento and we'd pick up uh, things that, uh, at that time, Sac Sacramento Natural Foods Co-op had just begun also. And you're in this little tiny storefront in Sacramento and we would get some things picked up that farmers would bring in and we'd go to farms and we'd load up my truck and we'd drive back to Lake Tahoe. And and that, then the, that co-op just grew and grew and grew and then finally he and Kalita moved to uh, uh, Yuba City and then they had several different farms over the years but we always kept in touch and Amigo has been just a dear friend over the years and so passionate about the earth, about, uh, about food, about just everything he's done and I just feel so appreciative to have known him and I love you Amigo and thank you so much for being in my life. And until we meet again. I have so many great memories of Migo being a close family friend. Playing on the farm at Yuba City with all you kids was a great memory. And then at the Oregon Country Fair, he gave my youngest daughter her very first taste of ice cream. And I was like, I don't know, she's ready for that. She's only a baby. <laughs> but we have the greatest picture. And of course, she will always love ice cream. And We'll always have a special place in our heart for Amigo Bob and this whole family, this community here is so beautiful. So love you all and love Amigo. This one to end.